Mag.com How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. It's been, it's been a little like, bit of time. Yeah, like a couple months. I was going to do like my first interview. Yeah. It was <laughs> awesome. We got to dance to music. Yeah. We was, it's a Habercorn was in the, in, the, uh, yes. in the vicinity, so there's always music. <laughs> How are you? I'm I good. I said that already? I'm good. Yeah. I'm doing, oh, yeah. I'm doing good. Well, hey, it's, it's still early. Did you get here this morning? No, I got I got here last night, um, and again the three hour time difference. And I, I you'd think I'd learn. You went to bed to like to two o'clock in the morning. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but I was working on some other stuff, so I lost track of time. And then when I looked at the clock, I was like, oh, I'm gonna have to get up early tomorrow. I need to work on that. So. But you've had a lot of sugar now. And I have had a lot of sugar, a lot of caffeine, uh, coffee, half coffee, half hot chocolate with some whipped cream, and then. Uh, smoothie that is going to become my lunch, and I think I have an apple later. So it's all like natural or mildly processed sugar. I heard you say something uh, to a fan how coffee has a reverse effect on you. I think it does. I think the same thing too. Because I'm a little more mellowed out now. I don't know what the deal is. Yeah. Monica was like, Oh, I'm so excited. I have like so much <laughs> coffee like coursing through my veins, and I'm like, I'm oh, good. I think like, you, I think it's. Uh, you get hyper, I get you hyper get tired, <laughs> or you have to go to the bathroom a lot. So. Yeah, well like three hours from now I'll be like passed out on the couch. <laughs> Too much coffee and I'm out. So, so yeah. as most people know, you are taken. <laughs> I am, I am, yes indeed. And you are planning a wedding? I am, yeah. Uh, theoretically for uh, December, but it's um, still kind of up in the air. We gotta figure out how we're gonna do things. We're gonna be, doing the wedding in Texas and both of us are spending a lot of time in LA right now so it's kind of hard to plan a wedding when you're not there so we're going back and forth and trying to figure things out and yeah so I bet. it's all up in the air and your fiance is a voice actor also uh, he's an actor uh, writer um, and producer director he's done a little bit of voice acting but he's uh, primarily an actor and a uh, playwright also working on screenwriting and he'll be producing a show in uh, Santa Monica, uh, on Santa Monica in Los Angeles in May. So, and I'll be launching an Indiegogo campaign. Um, there's some like perks and stuff if people wanna to see the show or take part in the show. And so I will be the assistant director working on that. So, cool. yeah. And uh, have we moved from bracelets? No more bracelets? No, they're still, <laughs> yes. Quite, quite a, quite a lot. I mean, some of them started breaking, so I feel like that's a sign that like their, their work on my arm is done. Like those <laughs> ones had to go; they just broke themselves. Yeah. Um, so yeah, no, I still, still have my bracelets. I noticed my, uh, my girlfriend, same thing. She's a makeup artist, and uh, she out of nowhere just started putting <laughs> her bracelets on. I was like, oh great. It's like an addicting thing. Yeah. One, and they all have like meanings. So whichever one, like. That's cool. I'm attracted to at, for the day is like what I need to focus on. Very cool. So yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Um, you had a uh, signing today so far. I did. And then you had. Um, and a panel. A panel. Yes. And it was about actresses. And yes. Okay, so this is I don't know if this was asked or not. Okay. We had to run out late, but <laughs> what do you think about the term? Uh, it seems like the term actress, not even just in voice acting is being pushed away like it's a, everybody refers to themselves as an actor regardless if you're male or female yeah I mean I've, I've heard a lot of people saying you know I prefer to be called an actor rather than an actress because there was you know uh, people like uh, Glenn Close have played um, males or they've played women being a male and so they say you know we don't want to limit ourselves a male actor is always an actor um, and a female can always be an actor or an actress. And they said, you know, we just don't want to limit ourselves with the work that we could do. And for uh, voice actors, we play boy roles yeah. all the time. So I think it's kind of just becoming a generic role. I mean, I don't care. I'm an actor. I'm an actress or an actor or, you know, just the girl with crazy voices who <laughs> shows up on camera or whatever. Um, so it's, it's I, I don't have a preference, but I can understand why, why other people might get a little testy about it. As long as the so. voices aren't in your head. <laughs> yes. Or, 
or if, as long as they're in my head and then I get to release them in a very therapeutic fashion that pays bills. How about that? <laughs> so. And then um, I, I don't know if a lot of people think that like the voice actors and uh, like hang out together or get to see each other all the time, yeah. but that's not that's not a truth really. Not always. I mean. Uh, we we're I mean I know that they hang out the ones that are in Texas they'll hang out a long time and uh, a lot and when I'm in Texas I'll hang out with them a little bit we most of the time get to hang out at conventions yeah. um, because otherwise we're usually working especially the the writers if they're actors if like Monica or um, Colleen is a director they're like working on the show 24/7 um, so yeah I mean like we see each other like New Year's parties and things like that and and then conventions um, and then we'll always text each other and, and say like, oh, are you working on this show? When will I see you? And stuff like that. So I'll be hanging out with, uh, hopefully, um, Micah and uh, his lovely lady, Ayu, when I'm back in town. So, because I haven't seen them in forever and I love those guys. Cool. And uh, do you ever play pranks on each other and stuff like that? For sure. Uh, there's a lot of, with, with Twitter and Facebook and all those social media sites, it makes it really easy to, you know, make a little comment and then, banter back and forth, witty, crazy, funny jokes. There was a couple way back when, um, and then some last week that were pretty entertaining. The easiest way for us to do pranks is to leave bombs in while we're recording. That's what I was gonna ask. So <laughs> we do that a lot. But if somebody's coming in, or we'll like leave a, which is in essence leaving a blooper and then for the actor to not know that it's coming and crack them up in the booth and make it really hard for them to do their job. That's funny. So. Excellent. Um, anything else, Emil? Uh, working on a couple of shows, and um, I'll be I'm writing some projects and trying to produce some more on-camera stuff. I mean, I would love to do some more anime stuff, but I'm not really a great artist, so um, <laughs> that's kind of necessary. Um, but yeah, I just trying to trying to stay busy and trying to work on some stuff and keep the ball rolling. It has to be hard to ask, like, what are you doing? Because then you're like, oh, I don't know. Yeah, th there's one show that I'm working on right now that I cannot wait to talk about, um, but I don't know when they're going to announce it, so. Yeah. <sighs> and then outside of vo voice acting, have you been doing any new hobbies or? Yeah, I mean, uh, I started, or at least I'm kind of planning, I'm going to start making clothes. Oh, cool. Just because, you know, why not? The easier, the better. I have to finish sewing a dress that I'm making. Um, and it's just, just stuff for me that I thought would be fun. I'm still working on jewelry. Um, and since, because of the whole wedding situation and getting, uh, getting stuff ready for an apartment, I'll be moving soon. So now I've kind of found myself to be a slight interior designer. Just so I'm working with like colors and everything. I've like become immersed in color coordinating and doing crazy things like that so, so I'm, I'm so artistic <laughs> I'm just like good, totally though. left brain Excellent. which is on the right side of my head when I gestured so <laughs> good job there Sherry <laughs> totally not the mathematic person <laughs> and um, so are you staying you're in California now are you staying there? I am I am in California and then I go back to Texas I'll actually be going back to Texas uh, next week I'm gonna do some more work in LA and then go back to Texas for a little while I have a film um, called cry uh, that's an independent film that's actually premiering at the Dallas International Film Festival cool. uh, in a couple weeks and then a film that I worked on beyond the furthest star I think they'll be releasing that uh, later this year so I'll be Posting those links on Facebook so everybody can go see those if they so desire. Very so. cool. Yeah. All right, well, I wish you the best. I'll well, thank hope you. To see you again. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> but I could talk about some we'll more do shows. Updates. I think I could talk about. Uh, I played Wahanli and Tenchi Muyo War on Geminar and um, Uiharu in uh, Railgun, which is like the sequel or sister to um, Index. So, yeah, working on those. Cool. And. Uh, my Facebook always has updates, and my uh, Epic Nights of Jeremy Lee page always has updates. Have they, I don't know if you can talk about it, or if you've heard anything, have they mentioned anything more about Soul Eater, if they're going to continue it, or? Um, I don't know anything about that. As far, I mean, I know it's on uh, uh, Adult Swim, mm -hmm. late on Cartoon Network late at night, um, but I don't know if they're going to do more episodes. I don't know if Fairy Tale's getting more episodes. I hope so. 
generally the fans find out long before I do. Yeah. I find out via them, <laughs> via Twitter. I'm like getting all these, I'm like, why do I have so many messages today? Oh, a show got announced, great, or here's news, so. And then I you sit there like them. this and they call yeah, you? Yeah, exactly, <laughs> please, 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 please. If we, if we got to do more Soul Eater, I would be so excited. And more Sergeant Frog, and more Fairy Tale, and more work, like I love these shows. Yeah. So, that would be awesome. Fingers totally crossed, and toes. And my arms, and you know, everything else. <laughs> Anything you can. Yes, exactly, <laughs> exactly. All right, well, thank you very much. Thank you. Excellent. It's good to see you again. You too. You don't got a lot in it. Do what? So you don't got a lot in it. <laughs> no, it's so good to see you. <laughs>